Hello and welcome to Improve Your Voice, aka Vocabilities.com. My name is Darren McStay and today I'm going to be reviewing the voice of one of the most famous people in the world right now. PewDiePie. Cool, we get a noise complaint after we get kicked out. That's really helpful. <laughs> in case anyone's been living under a rock for the last 10 years, uh, PewDiePie is is a, 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 like a, just a phenomenally successful and uh, popular YouTuber who got, I think, rose to fame through the gaming community and his takes on reviewing games and playing games and his commentary uh, throughout. And, uh, you know, I, I've never really been much of a gamer and so I don't really know about that side and it's, you know, it's not something that I've studied very much. I've watched, you know, many of his videos over the years but uh, it's not someone I, I follow. But I do realise that he's been asked for by you guys and I also realise that he's got a very interesting voice. And so I'm going to take a look at it and see if we can see how he's making the sounds he makes, see if any of it could be any good for us, or see if we can learn how to avoid some of the pitfalls I think maybe he's falling into. So let's take a quick look at one clip from one of his vlogs. Cool, we get a noise complaint after we get kicked out. That's really helpful. <laughs> Like, it doesn't matter. It's brought to our attention by some of your neighbors that you or guests are causing disturbances by creating excessive noise. And they call it antisocial behavior. Okay, so um, whether you know PewDiePie or not, he's, I believe, originally from Sweden. And I know that he now lives in Brighton because uh, that's a place that I used to live for 13 years and it's one of the coolest places in the world, especially in the UK. Um, and I moved from there back to London to go to drama school. And then, you know, years later, now I'm here in Finland. But it's a town that, you know, a lot of my friends live in and it's known as kind of like London by the sea. So there's a lot going on and it's a beautiful, you know, it's surrounded by beautiful countryside and there's a lovely coast along the south coast of England there. But this isn't a tourist channel, so let's get on with the video. Uh, regarding the report of noise late at night, 6.30 p.m. You were asleep? Having your little napsy? Are we disturbing your little napsy? The reason I took this video is because I know he does a lot of voices and he does a lot of kind of caricature. He has a caricature of himself, if you like, when he's doing his own channel. But this one, because he's just speaking like in a vlog, uh, context. He's just talking, m you know, more normally as he probably would in real life. Uh, but he does do a lot of voices, and he he does um, uh, use a lot of nasality in the way he speaks. Uh, and even just in his normal accent here, we can hear some of that nasality. So let's take a listen. Guidelines on noise whereby noise of any unacceptable level during the day and between the evening hours of 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. You mean 24 hours? Is that like what? during the day and between 11 p.m. and 7 a.m. So, right, he's quite nasally, and he doesn't articulate his words so clearly. I, of course, he's heard, but, but on camera, you don't really need to over-articulate. Um, he, he's got a habit of doing this thing and having his mouth wide at the side, and he, and he sends air into his nose, and he just kind of lets air come out like that, and he does these little voices. And I go, oh, oh you, you're feeling a little bit tired today? And uh, all these uh, kind of things. And so, and, and sometimes he uh, has a little bit of a lisp in there too. I'm not saying he's a mumbler, but he definitely under articulates. And that's because he's not really doing too much with his mouth. He kind of has a wide, he, you know, he sends air out the side almost. And he doesn't do too much with his tongue. So he uses his nose to send air through and he makes the sounds like that. Because of his accent, there's a few words that, um, uh, of course, don't sound. You can hear that he's not British, but some of the, the kind of way he produces sounds, uh, some of the words he says actually sound quite American. And I'm not sure whether that's just because the accent in English from Sweden is, is learnt because you know the sounds like the the R sounds and whatnot are very uh, kind of more in, heavily influenced from the states because of you know TV, culture, sports, movies, whatever. But he's definitely picked up some of those traits, and one of them is the nasality, and one of them is the curling of the R's. It's brought to our attention by some of your neighbors that you or guests are causing disturbances by creating excessive noise, and they call it antisocial behavior. Can you hear that nasality? Antisocial behavior. Antisocial behavior. So you'd hear that nasally there. Na 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 behavior. 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 So why his voice is interesting for me is that he can be quite charismatic without actually doing too much. He's I, I guess he's got such a fan base because, you know, his humour comes across in some of these accents and these characters that he does. So he's quite expressive in that respect. But for me, he's actually kind of limiting his possibility because, you know, clearly he's a, 
he's you know he's a grown man he's got a big instrument he would possibly be able to open up more resonance and, and maybe actually have bigger sounds as well as some of these high uh, higher nasally ones and i think that he could possibly open up more doorways to articulation and accents and even create more interesting characters if he maybe decided to you know do some exercises on his articulation so his tongue maybe that could be working a bit harder even he's, he's actually doing quite a lot of his lips but he doesn't open his mouth too much so he could really sort of start loosening up the jaw and opening up the back and creating more space and then he'd have a you know a much bigger range and so when he's doing his characters he might be able to offer more variety if you like because he does get stuck in his own sort of like few little voices and one of them sounds a bit like that and of course with the air placement you know that that's that makes it sound kind of american it can for some, and not necessarily for me, but it can for some sound a bit irritating. Of course, not for you know the hundred and ten million subscribers that he has on on YouTube. So uh, you know, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Th this is um, this is not you know an attack on his personality. This is just what I'm noticing about his voice. He's got you know he's got a very 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 subtle lisp. You were asleep, having your little napsy. Are we disturbing your little napsy? Napsy, c. And the sibilance of his s is quite sharp. You were asleep, having your little napsy. Are we disturbing your little napsy? Okay, so he's got a very slight bit of uh, overbite. Now it's not it's not huge, but it's causing this this kind of sort of, when he says the s's, he kind of pronounces them s, s, like that rather than s, 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 s. so they hang on and they sound a bit longer than they should. One other little thing I've noticed about him is that he he's some of his Z sounds sound more like S's. So let's have a little listen. It's brought to our attention by some of your neighbors that you or guests are causing disturbances. Causing disturbances, a causing, a causing disturbances as opposed to causing disturbances. But again, you know, Swedish is his first language, I believe. Um, the English is not his native language and he's picked up kind of the accent maybe from maybe American games or movies or whatever. And so he's developed his own way of speaking. And, and that's just one thing I noticed that the Zs aren't fully vocalized and that's just something he does. I've not got a really huge amount to say about him because he's such a dynamic voice and um, kind of it works for what he does and it's quite characterful in its own right, but it's a bit limited. And it's limited because he's stuck in one zone and that's in his nasal cavity and he's kind of only really sending air up there and he's not really over he's not really articulating his jaw so much so he's not giving himself much more possibilities in the range he uses and that would be my you know my, my takeaway that if um, if you like his voice then just you know shut your mouth and speak through your nose and you're going to be very close to it somehow but if you want to be someone who can express yourself a bit more and have more dynamics say you want to get into voiceover or even go into the same kind of industry as as PewDiePie I mean you could you could develop that you could actually get more dynamics and variety in your voice just by doing some simple things like yawning, opening up space and practicing speaking not only through your nose but sometimes down through your mouth and even down to your throat if you wanted to. So you can change things up. Um, that, that's what I'm going to say about PewDiePie. You know, it's not a massive review. It's not a voice analysis. This is just what I've picked up from listening to one interview with him and he's got many and he's got, you know, a lot of charisma and a lot of character and a lot of humor. So hopefully you've got something from this. Maybe you can take something from his voice in case you wanted to sound like that or in case you didn't want to sound like that or if you have a voice like that that you wanted to change or if you've got a voice that you wanted to change to sound more like that maybe that's helpful okay anyway my name's Darren McStay this is improve your voice aka vocabilities.com and until the next time look after your voice I